The way the top-ranked University of Connecticut Huskies are playing, they might face stiffer competition in practice. Before facing West Virginia Tuesday, head coach Gino Oriema's team had been so dominant, they won Big East games by an average of nearly 39 points. Virtually every conference game had been all but over by halftime. It's really unbelievable. I mean, UConn this year has beaten everybody by at least double digits. The closest game was Stanford at 12 points. They played top 10 teams and blow them out of the water. They played Notre Dame, who was number three at the time, and went up 24 to four after the first five minutes. Tuesday, UConn pulled away to clobber West Virginia 80-47 for its 61st straight victory. The day before, UConn, a six-time national champion, was ranked number one in the AP women's basketball poll for a record 37th straight week. The streak surpasses Louisiana Tech's teams of the early 1980s for the longest run as number one. They say they don't, they don't know about numbers, they don't, they don't know about streaks, and they actually don't. They don't really sit there and go, wow, we've won 60 games in a row, we've won 61 games in a row, we haven't lost to anybody. They haven't lost back-to-back -back games in, in over 20 years. Despite their remarkable success, home attendance at Huskies games reportedly hit a 10-year low last season. Feinberg said there could be some complacency among UConn fans who might wonder why they should buy tickets to see a team that wins by so much so often. Tuesday's game against the Mountaineers was far from a sellout. They had 9,000 people there for the number 11 team in the country who actually gave them a pretty good game. And that Hartford, they played in the Hartford Civic Center, the XL Center now, which holds about 15,000, but it was only about maybe 60% full for a pretty good team that actually gave UConn a pretty good run for a while. The Huskies are just nine wins shy of the NCAA and school record of 70 consecutive wins. The defending NCAA champs could break the mark in the Big East tournament. Steve Carmazan, The Associated Press.